today we got south park the mexican staring frog of southern sri lanka i probably butchered that but it is what it is if you want to watch my reaction to the entire episode the link to my patreon is in the description below but before we go any further i need you to do me a solid you can drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm i would greatly appreciate it but uh y'all ready for this one let's run it baby let's get it let's go and now back to hunting and killing with south park's favorite hunters jimbo and ned I'm Jumbo Kern, and this here's Ned. Say hi, Ned. Hi, Ned. Ah! <laughs> hold on. Hold on, bro. Time out. Am I missing something, bro? When the hell did they get a show? The new law passed by Colorado legislature, which Ned and I call law number four, states that we can no longer kill animals in defense. In other words, our old line of it's coming right for us. It's coming right for us. No longer works. Hold on. What? Like I understand if you if you just if you just saying that line just to like cover your ass right the way they do it, but if a bear really about to eat you up, son, like you're not supposed to defend yourself. Bad. If we don't hunt, then these animals will grow too big in number and they won't have enough food. So you see, we have to kill animals or else they'll die. <laughs> I've heard in my life, bro. You got I gotta kill the animals. Cause if I don't, they're gonna die. Like I have to do this to save them. I gotta kill them so they don't die, bro. Oh my god, these two are stupid. Lucky Ned, there's some deers. Quick, Ned, thin out their numbers. Thin out their numbers. Good work, Ned. Now they won't starve. Bro, that's a whole flamethrower. You literally just set them on fire. You didn't eat them. You didn't do anything with them, bro. You just eliminated them. That sure was a great hunting trip. We saved those deer from extinction. We're environmentalists. Oh. Coming up next, we're going to drop some napalm on an unsuspecting family of beavers. Yo, my man, that's we're environmentalists. <laughs> Wow, yo, my stomach hurts. My face is starting to hurt from laughing. We're not even two minutes in, dog. Mr. Gershon, what's Vietnam? What's Vietnam? A question a child might ask, but not a childish question. <laughs> Children, Low for the next bars? few days, we'll be learning all about Vietnam. Chances are that somebody in your own lives was affected by this incredible war. Mr. Garrison, were you in Vietnam? Oh, I didn't know he was in Vietnam. Who's next to take a shower? Me. You just took one last time, silly. Oh, where hey, did I hide yo. To find somebody in your own life who is in Vietnam and interview them about it. What if we don't know anybody who is in Vietnam? Then you get an F, fail the third grade, and have to get a job cleaning septic tanks to support your drug habit. Damn. One of our loyal viewers from South Park sent us some 8 millimeter film of what he claims to be the Mexican staring frog of southern Sri Lanka. Now, Sri Lanka, know, that's what it is. The Mexican staring frog of southern Sri Lanka can supposedly kill you with one horrid gaze. If a person even so much as looks into the frog's eyes, they can be paralyzed or even die. There, did you see it? Roll that back again. Nah. Now freeze it. Bruh. Oh, look who is here, my little nephew Stanley. So you're interested in your Uncle Jimbo's big TV show, huh? No, we have to do a stupid report on Vietnam. You and Ned are the only guys we know who were there. Was it fun? Carbon, what kind of stupid ass question is that? Of course it was fun. <laughs> Vietnam was more like shoving shards of broken glass up your ass and then sitting in a tub of Tabasco sauce fun. Ooh. Whoa, yeah, bro, that's where me and Ned met. What do you mean that's where you met? Like you met him in Vietnam or you met him in a tub? Filled with hot sauce and glass up your eyes. You know what I mean? You, you, gotta, you gotta clear that up, bro, because that was kind of sus. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Kearns, get over here. The new privates are here. I'm assigning one of them to you as a trainee, Ned Gerblansky. Ned Gerblansky reporting, sir. Thanks, Ned. Yo, he sounds mad different. 
Hey, you know those things are bad for your throat. No, nah, that's all lies. I'll be fine. Charlie's at 2 o'clock. Aye, aye, aye. So that's why his voice is different from all the, all the smoking. What are you doing, Matt? We have to take him out, Ned, at all costs. Die, you red comic bastard! <laughs> Bro, how are y'all gonna leave now? Yeah! Oh! Oh, no, <laughs> nah, they're so full of shit, bro. Keep in mind, like, they're telling Stan and the boys how it went down in Vietnam. You feel me? Why the f is there a big ass white stallion? You know what I'm saying? Like, what you doing with a big ass sword in your pocket, bro? I call cap, bro. The lie detector determines that this story, in fact, was a lie. Nah, so that's hella people. We killed the entire Red Kong army. Whoopee. Whoopee. Let's get back to base camp. We can ride the log ride before it closes. This is giving me um Tropic Thunder vibes. You know that movie? Man, Vietnam was sweet. Great news, guys. Your TV show ratings have doubled. Wow. They've Damn. gone from six people to 12. Holy smokes. We Bruh. can get any. And five, four, three. It's your hour of power on Midday Mountain Cable Access. Put your hands together and welcome the only man in town who always has a fully stocked wine cellar. Cheese. <laughs> <Christ. laughs> the only man in, in town that always has a uh what do you say a fully stocked wine cellar because my man's a man's turns water to wine <laughs> that's genius i like that hi bob denver hi jesus great to be here so bob so you just what was that down? yes just got in this is a terrible interview bro like there's literally no conversation going on my man said that you just get into town what and after killing the entire Viet Cong army they returned to base camp once there they rode the devil's drop roller coaster and ate cotton candy and ultimately ned got the purple heart for his courageous defense of the log ride so was the horror of vietnam the end yeah. are there any questions yes mr garrison yes uh where the f did you hear this ridiculous load of <laughs> from vietnam veterans well boys it's obvious to me that you didn't do your work and then you stayed up all night making up some ridiculous lie no no, no that's didn't. not you what happened f minus f minus can you do that an f minus bro he might as well have given you a g bro what the f welcome to detention okay mr garrison told me about your little joke it's important for you all to know why you're in detention for you to obtain the full benefits from it. You're hey, here because you're inferior, it? okay? Hey, you're here because you're awkward. Because you're awkward is crazy. Your Uncle Jimbo sucks ass. Shh. Yeah, he does. Mm -hmm. Why would he just invent a story instead of telling us the truth? Well, let's see. Maybe because he's an old, drunk, hillbilly dick. Shh. Nah, it's, <laughs> kids are easily impressionable, right? Like, you say something to the kid that sounds cool as hell, and they're going to believe it. You feel me? Why did he do that? I don't know. Maybe he thinks he's lame and he wanted some sort of like acceptance. You know what I'm saying? Maybe these, if these kids think I'm cool, I'll be cool. I don't know. Maybe, right? Welcome, Hunters. Boy, we got a show for you today. We have just received a tape from another viewer who filmed the Mexican stirring frog of Southern Sri Lanka right here in South Park. Uh, Is it Sri Lanka or Sri Lanka? Uh, yes, now we're about to roll the film, but remember. If you look the Mexican staring frog in the eyes, you can go catatonic. Okay, roll the film, Tom. Is it over? Okay, nah, that's, over. that's it. Well, there you have it. Undeniable proof that the Mexican staring frog of southern Sri Lanka exists. That's crazy, bro. Like they didn't even look at it. They just said, "Hey, if you if you if you look at it, if it looks at you, like it will go bad real quick. So don't look at it." And then they just ran with it. Dude, I can't believe they fell for it. Yeah, what a couple of dumbasses. Lying kicks ass. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah? We're in trouble. The Jimbo and Ned show made up some ridiculous staring frog story and jumped another two points in the ratings. Uh-oh, so what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Hold on, does that mean that nobody's watching the, the Jesus and Pals show either? Go on, Michelle. Well, as I was saying, I tried to trap them over to a gorgeous wood budge. My husband was trapped for 12 hours. And yet somehow he managed to survive. 
That's right. He's a very brave man, and I love him very much. I love you, too. Well, let's... Oh, no! I think she needs to kick him to the curb, baby. Kick who to the curb? Her no-good husband. She's got to lose that zero and get herself a hero. Damn, she's grimy. I think we're forgetting something very important in all of this. Okay, sure, he touched some children, but the man is a great singer and he has entertained us for so many years. W what are you talking about? Michael Jackson, all this bad magic what the putting fuck? the man down. Maybe he did touch some children now and then, but come on, it's Michael Jackson. Shimon! <laughs> I am the deadly Mexican stirring fog of southern Sri Lanka. I am very scary and dangerous. Cut! Cartman! What? It's supposed to be a frog. I know that. Well, since when do frogs talk, Cartman? Right, why is she talking? Wait, why do I have to dress up like an old lady? Because old ladies are fat and you are too. Ooh. Everyone, Carmen, the way we're shooting this, nobody will even know it's you. You have to pretend you're really scared. Then the Mexican staring frog will look you in the eyes, then you fall down like you're dead, okay? Ready? <laughs> Stupid. Good, and action. Well, it just so happens that we just received another film from another anonymous viewer. Roll it. Bro, they don't even proof watch these. Like, they they there just trust. Proof that not only is this frog real. They just trust that they're getting actual footage in, and that's crazy. Join us, won't you? Oh, no, 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 no. This is the biggest publicity stunt I've ever seen. Damn, those hunters are clever. If we prove that the Mexican staring frog from southern Sri Lanka is just something made up by Jimbo and Ned, we can have them taken off the air, perhaps even killed. Look, she's why don't we just evil, stick to bro. our own show? People will watch again. Like, the fact that she's working with Jesus, right, and she got these evil intentions to get somebody else off the air is f***ed up. You've Let's seen Jesus and Pals. Now you've got to get the video. Jesus and Pals, too hot for TV. Things get a little no. out of control. You won't believe your eyes. Order now, only $19.95. Oh Remember, my God. On TV. That's like that that Jerry Springer that they would, like the commercials they would play in the middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? The too hot for TV, the uncensored version. And you had to order it to watch it because you couldn't watch it any other way. Dude, they're going to look so stupid. <laughs> totally. They deserve it for lying to us, dude. Revenge is so very, very sweet. They're here. Hurry and hide. Uh, it's him. The Mexican staring frog of southern Sri Lanka. He's right over there on that rock. He is? Dumbass, you've got to keep your eyes away from him. Stay down. Ned, you take flight position. I'll try and keep it turned away from you. I'm going to create a diversion using this incendiary device, while Ned will ambush him from the rear. I was about to say, bro. Now, like... Ned, he's not looking. Quick, Ned, hit him with the shotgun. Now, Ned. Ned. It took Ned. way too long, bro. What's happening? Oh, he blew oh, him up? No. Come on, Ned, buddy. Snap out of it. Ned, Ned, can you hear me? Quick, somebody call bro, an ambulance. He's... Ned, oh. Dude, he's okay. That frog wasn't even real. Look. Ah, what the hell are you doing? I almost looked right at it. Dude, it's just a plastic frog. It's not real. Check it out. What? We shot all those videos and sent them in. Yeah, we made the whole thing up. It was all just a really, really funny joke. Ned's faking it. That frog was just a piece of plastic. Yeah, come on, Ned, quit faking. I couldn't help overhearing your conversation just now. Who are you? I produce a little TV show called Jesus and Pals. You might have heard of it. Your story is amazing, full of jealousy, duplicity, backstabbing, and bitterness. How would you like to share your remarkable story with us on tomorrow's show? Some of you may know I host a local show on hunting. <laughs> no love. Your corpse is up here. We need a lot more action from everybody. Like what? Like, go ahead and tell how your nephew Stan takes drugs and worships Satan. Satan, got it. Well, I don't take drugs and worship Satan. Damn, That's he's right. just gonna go with it? Medicine, you little fibber. You kids, I didn't think you <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what, though? I can't blame him because his, his best friend is like a vegetable. Like, my man's is not moving, not doing anything, all because of the lie that they told. You feel me? So I get it. Do what you gotta do, Jimbo. Somebody get pissed off and throw a chair at Ned here. Dibs. No. Welcome back to Jesus and Pals. Jimbo, this shit's about why to do get you think bad. Stanley lies? I'll tell you why. Because he's on drugs and he worships the devil. <gasps> Jesus! 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 <laughs> wow. Now, Stanley, it sounds like your uncle's really worried about you. Well, he did it because he molested me. <gasps> No! Why, you little piece of crap! You big piece of crap! That's it! Now I'm all pissed off! <laughs> Let's watch the language, people. Bring it on, you! Hey, get off of him, you f***ing nutsack! Jesus! Jesus! Go ahead. 
Cartman? <laughs> nah, it's a free for all now. What? Oh my God! They killed Kenny. You oh shit! What is wrong with you people? Jesus saying Jesus is crazy. Look at all the pain and suffering your lie has caused. We only did it because Jimbo lied to us first. Mr. Garrison said there was no way that you could have defeated the entire Viet Cong army by yourself. The entire Viet Cong army? I, uh, well, okay, I might have embellished the truth a little. <laughs> there you go. And as for you, Stan, I, I think you need to kick your drug habit. Wait a second, I don't take drugs. That was a lie. Wait, Jimbo made that up? No, your producer did. Oh, really? Yeah, then she told us to throw a chair at Ned. Yeah, I didn't want to do it, Jesus. They made me do that. Nah, you definitely wanted to, you liar. I'm sorry, Stan. I was just trying to tell a good story. I never meant for you boys to get in trouble. We're sorry too, Uncle Jimbo. We're sorry for making you look stupid in front of the whole world. Yeah, and we're sorry for turning Ned into a vegetable. Ah, oh, he'll be fine. I'll just take him home and show him some good hardcore porn. He'll snap right out of it, won't you? <laughs> oh my god. Nope, he's dead, bro. I can't wait to get back to my old show without all the glitz and ratings and producers and Wait a sec. Where is your producer? I sent her away. Sent her away where? What is this? Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> he sent her to hell! Hey, take a letter. Put your feet up. Me and Satan were just a boot to go shopping for furniture. I was just a boot. Okay, honey. No! War is hell. Nah, this is cool, man. This is cool. Sign off in the comments below. Let me know what South Park episode is next. And I get to that ASA. P, listen, man, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this video with me. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And join the family. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.